Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about DraftKings stock and one of the main reasons why I was kind of watching them here within the last week to month time frame is because of the fact that they had earnings coming up and now that we've seen how the earnings did, we can kind of get an idea on where DraftKings stock is kind of headed into the future and what we can expect here within the next few weeks to months time frame on the stock. Now, one of the main things about the earnings is that they didn't do as well as expected. Now, as with a lot of other companies here that do operate online, uh, DraftKings was kind of expected to do substantially better than they normally would be doing because of the fact that a lot of people are at home and because of the fact that gambling just reopened with a lot of other sports reopening at the same time here as people kind of go back to work and back to normality after the economic downturn here. So it was kind of expected that DraftKings wasn't going to do as bad. However, 55 cents, negative 55 cents per share isn't anything to kind of just shrug off here. And you can see that the stock reacted accordingly to the news. They ran up all the way to around $36 from their lows around the $28 mark, the $30 mark, and now we're sitting at around $33.93, so it's really a critical point for the stock to decide whether it's going to continue into the upwards direction or into the downwards direction. You can see that their price is still very good. They've been up all the way at around $50 almost, and I think that they could retest this level into the future if we do see them recover a lot more from this economic downturn and if we do see sports betting continue to pick up speed how it has been in the last few years and if we can continue seeing DraftKings kind of secure these opportunities with a lot of U.S. states and become some of the first online gambling casinos allowed in a lot of these states. So that's kind of what I've been keeping an eye on here. As far as technical analysis, you can see that they are very clearly trading here between the $40 mark and the $31 mark having a lot of bounces here around this price range and kind of holding consistent in the last few weeks here and also another thing that I really like about DraftKings is the way that they kind of move and they move very heavily here you can see that a lot of other stocks right now have been paused with the stock market at all-time highs or nearing all-time highs and that's kind of been really bad for traders like me who potentially are looking for large trades and large gains on a daily basis. You're not really looking for a stock to move a couple pennies. And that's why I've really liked DraftKings because they've been moving dollars here on a daily basis. And it's been proving very, very successful for me to trade here. You can see that over the last three months, they're up $6, which is not a lot, but they fluctuated between the $41 to $28 range. And these are the type of, of trades and these fluctuations that as a trader, we love to see, and especially as a swing or day trader here. So like I said, I'm really watching them to retest on the $31 range or retest on the 39 and then kind of see where it goes from there. If they do break above the 39, I'll be looking for a trade to the upside here till around $42 or all time highs again on the stock. However, if they do break down to $31, this is the best case scenario because then we're looking at a very, very strong buy and potentially a situation where we could profit over $15 to $20 here if they do break back up to the upside. Now, you can see that they reacted off the earnings. However, a lot of these hour candles are really melted. And what I was kind of seeing on the five minute is that they are having a lot of recovery here. And usually I don't trade on the five minute, but it's good to get a short term indication of how the stock is doing. And you can see that two times here they tried to rip up at the open of yesterday on August 14th and then once again they tried to rip up here at the end of the day to around the $35 mark so you can see that the stock has a lot of upwards momentum a lot of upwards pressures here kind of forming as they do hit this resistance where they were at before even though last time it was a triple top here and then they sold off now they're kind of showing a lot more strength and I don't think that we will see another triple top here in the in the uh kind of weeks to come now if you are looking at DraftKings to the upside it's a great time right now to come in on a small position let's say your account is ten thousand dollars maybe try to buy around 10 to 20 shares here just to kind of start building your position if they do break down to the 31 then buy in heavily on another uh, amount and then kind of watch whether or not they break to the upside in the next few weeks as they do have a lot of good news with a lot of sports kind of reopening here and looking to continue pushing to the uh, to the more normality side of things than pushing back into the stopped side of things here. 
So as always, guys, just keep a close eye out on a lot of these trades. This is a critical level for DraftKings. So I feel like they will either break heavily to the upside on Monday or break heavily downwards. Kind of depends on where the SPY is going to open up and the market as a whole especially. But just keep a close eye out on this stock because they are a big mover and you can potentially earn a lot of money with them on a daily basis here or especially a weekly basis if you are swing trading. As always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe the video and thanks for watching.